Hi, I'm Dr. Anna Kabeca, also known as the Girlfriend Doctor. I'm a triple board certified gynecologist and obstetrician and expert in hormones, sexual health, and menopause. Today I'm going to share with you how our hormones change over time. Now, if you didn't see my previous video on what a hormone is, please watch that one because it gives you the foundational information. So there in our life, there are two periods of tremendous hormonal fluctuations two main periods. The first is in puberty, between 10 and 15 years old typically, and the second is in menopause. And our hormones fluctuate over time, you know, on a monthly basis as well, but this is the general trend of our hormones as we age. Now the top hormone here that I've outlined in pink is our hormone progesterone. This is the mother hormone. Our other hormones are derived from progesterone and that includes DHEA, testosterone, and estrogen, pretty much in that order. Now, progesterone is made predominantly by our ovaries and then after, and our adrenal glands, but definitely as we age, our adrenal glands have to take over. When we're in our mid thirties to 40, we really start to see that steep decline in progesterone. And the degree of that decline can affect our mood, our memory, our, um, our weight, our mojo. All of these things are affected by this decline, especially when the, there is something called estrogen dominance. The second line is estrogen. We get fluctuations in puberty and we get these fluctuations that can lead to hot flashes, mood swings, irritability. And when we get an imbalance in progesterone and estrogen, we call this estrogen dominance or a period of neuroendocrine vulnerability. All that to say, I'll tell you more about that in another video. But this estrogen dominance causes those imbalanced symptoms. And it's especially significant when we have stress because when we are stressed, we will deplete progesterone to make cortisol. So that's important to know. And cortisol is the stress hormone. So you add stress into this time period, I don't know, like me, you know, a mom with a time of perimenopause, uh, two teenagers and a wee one in elementary school, all girls, we've added on some stress there, not to, mad, you know, not to mention other things but you get that stress on there and you're really creating this hormonal imbalance. Now, DHEA and testosterone are also two important hormones for women. DHEA is a precursor to both testosterone and estrogen, and it starts to decline in our mid twenties for both men and women, and the same with testosterone. Testosterone more so in our thirties and more significantly in our forties, but the decline is slower. It's less obvious than the shifts in progesterone and estrogen in a woman's life. In men, they're more affected by the decline in DHEA and testosterone. So these are hormones that help build our bones, build our muscle, keep our um, brain healthy and build our body with resilience. All of these hormones are important and that's kind of how they're shifting over time. So in, I'll share with you in another video how it affects our mood and memory in perimenopause and menopause so that you can understand what steps that you need to make and what what are your next right steps to empower your physiology? Again, remember our physiology, our hormones affect our physiology. Our physiology affects our quality of life, our mood, our memory, and the quality of our relationships. I want those to be awesome for you. I'm Dr. Anna Kabeca. I hope you enjoyed this and watch out for my next video.